Good morning, everyone. How is your day? I hope you are all well. Let's give my computer a second to catch up and find the live, and we will get started today. As you can see, I've got a lot of goodies on my desk. And um, <laughs> say hello if you're joining me this morning. Here we go. See if we can't straighten stuff out here so I know where I'm at. Oh, there's my arm. Okay, I think you can see about everything. All right, shall we get started today? Sorry about that, needed a little sip of water. I'll try and make sure that I'm talking louder so that way you can hear me. And what I'm talking about today is just kind of some information on uh, the different products that we have and different ways you can use them. This will probably be a two-part video. Um, this will just get us started and then next week I will do some on video um, sharing of some different ideas that you can do. So what I'm talking about today is pick yourself a paper pack that's been used already or a clean one, whatever you want to do, one that hasn't been used. And then pick yourself some uh, thin cuts that you want to use. This one right here is the Layered Flowers Z4324. And as you can see, I put my extra pieces in the back there then I have something um, that might work when I'm doing stuff so what did I do with that I went and cut out a white paper I picked the pattern of their paper I did some uh, different papers this is Nixon's paper this is uh, glitter paper I did some of the holographic paper I did some vellum and another paper cardstock, uh, pattern paper. Okay, so just cut your out, cut yourself out some pieces, and um, like these leaves, don't let anybody tell you they have to be green. They can't be patterned. They can't be super patterned. Okay, it's what you want to do. Then I also went through, and for one of the ones I'm going to show you, I I grabbed my circle thin cuts which is Z3943 and I love it because they're all graduated and they all kind of blend together and mix and match really well and if you need to shop there's my shopping site um, okay so plain white cardstock looks really pretty on a card there's several of them um, that I have done that you can go back and look at um, either on my website, on Pinterest, or if you're in one of my card classes, you've probably seen me do white on white. If not, give me a holler, give, leave me a message, and I will show you um, some white on white cards that I have done. So, that white card stock. You can ink it, you can color pencil it, you can watercolor it. Don't use too much water, because it is just our... You could also use our watercolor paper if you wanted to really get wet um, but a drier watercolor will work and that's something I'll show you next week you can also use our um, distress oxide inks and get some nice patterning going and I will show you that next week as well um, the sky is really the limit as to what you want to do with your flowers okay um, so again here's just a white flower I cut it in half Okay, what am I going to do with that? So when I cut it, I also um, rounded the edges because they were a little bit pokey. Like this one's got just a little bit of, uh, of the leftover petal. So I just trimmed them off and now I'm just going to layer them like so. And look at that, you got a daisy. And even more so, plop it onto a circle, there's your daisy. 
okay? So there's our daisy. And then what do we want to do with it? Well, again, I would keep to the family of this. So if I had some leaves with this, I would probably pair those up. Or you could do black and white and, and um, yellow looks pretty together. So let's just show you that, okay? No reason why you couldn't add a little sparkle in there as well. Maybe layer those up, okay? I know it looks kind of funky just sitting there. You can also do the pattern paper. So there you go. Add a couple leaves in there. You can also take a center like this, which was the center of this. Hold on, let me grab a pair of scissors. And cut that in half, or nearly in half. And then if you had this like in a color, let's see, let's do this one. Let's, oh, I didn't take out the center. Just be gentle, just wiggle it around, and out it comes. Like so. All right, so we have that, and let's see what we're gonna do. Let's put, let's put a white center in the back, and then these little centers, you can mix and match as well. So there's the center, and then you could put a little black center on top. Okay, see where I'm going? And then you could add some black leaves to it. And that'd be pretty on a card. Or if you wanted, take that away. And we could add, this is from the matching paper pack. So we'll add our green. What else do I have? Just looking at my bits and pieces. Let's see, let's add this look like if we added one of these that's a little bit of holographic with it that's kind of interesting and then depending on what cardstock you put on your card if you need a little space in between of um, resting space then you can add these little guys they'd be underneath obviously okay well here's another thing you can do look at this you can add the white, and you could either layer it up if you wanted it uh, a little thicker because the textured paper is a little thinner, or you can just put it on like that. And I'm having a hard time seeing it. I hope you guys aren't. Hold on. Let me grab just a piece of colored cardstock so you can see. You can see what we're doing. Here's a neutral. Okay, so this might show this a little better. Get all of our pieces. We got a lot of them on here. There we go. All right, so we've got our white, and we've got that, and we could even use, see, that color even looks good, the uh, shortbread. Okay, and then we'll add our, our green again, and add our center. And I would probably want to add, since I've got some of this going, I'd probably want to add more of this because it just looks kind of plain. Now remember, this is just here so you can see stuff. So, if you need to add something here, and we'll do this one too. Look at this, our little daisy concoction. <laughs> And let's do, let's see, where's my other leaf? Here it is. That kind of leaf with that. And then we could even add a little, eh, I don't know if I like that. It's just playing with it. See what you like, okay? So that's kind of pretty, but this one I needed a little something more, right? So I took a piece of holographic paper, a couple of these hanging out. And I ran it through this thin cut, which is the Dots Slimline, and it is Z3993. So see, I'm using this a totally different way, and look at all these little pretties I got. They're nice and flat, but they add that color, 
I'm going to add a few around. This is the pickup tool. Very nice to have. And look at how. And I'm kind of thinking triangles. And I like to kind of add it around the, the image. So see how that just adds a lot. And we could even put this under here. Be careful when you're um, using, this is just a wax, and this, this paper is notorious for picking up whatever. It scratches easy, just be, gotta be careful with it. And we could put a few of these around. And see how that just adds to it. So think of this one as its own and this one its own. Okay. All right. What else can we do? Well, let me find my phone folder. Where is it? There it is. So another thing you can do to add a little bit of depth to your flowers, take that part away, is just take your bone folder and gently you can either go down and you can go down with this one and then remember this is thinner paper so just hold where all these uh, holes are and we can make these go up and then you can also put um, some uh, can't think of it. <laughs> foam tape. Foam tape, foam circles. And you would probably want to foam tape this up quite a bit. So that way it stands up a little bit more. And look at there. We got some dimension on it. And there's no reason why you can't take this one and just kind of maybe bend these down. You know, flowers kind of do their own thing. And maybe bend these just on the corners up a little bit. And hopefully you can see that. I'll take some still shots. I will have extra bonus cards that I make with these. But see how that just gives you a little bit of color? I hope that you can, or a little bit of uh, dimension on there. I hope that you can see that. Um, okay, so what else can we do? I can also take this white flower. These are our little thingies. And you can layer it with vellum. Make sure you go going the right way. It looks prettier. So we've got some vellum going on, and let's see, what else did we want to add? Let's see, we want to add, we should have cut out some more pieces. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's do some of this. And then this is from the Sweet As Honey one. And I'm just going to offset that a little bit. And then let's say we wanted to add a little more color. We could take this one from over here and add it on top. So that kind of gives you a different look. Make sure our paper is moved around like that. Now isn't that pretty? And there again, then you could just kind of, you could do whatever with these dots. You could just add little, little line. Something like that. Although I like them more random. So you just go around and tuck them underneath. Put them real good close. Farther out. Maybe just on this side. Like so. Something like that. So how's that look? Then there's the holographic paper. So this one is just the white, and this one's really easy to line up because see there's this little, little indentation there. So if you wanted to make it a little bit stronger, you could do that. Otherwise, you just rotate it a little bit and get like a secondary petal under there. And then I took this little piece, and it actually, if you find the right one, it will fit back in there. Oh, I gotta turn it over. No wonder. I've got to have the top side. So let's 
flat right. There we go. And then it'll fit. Yes, it will. It was in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Well, not quite right. Okay, let's find it again. Let's try and see if we can do the black. The black is the wrong side. You have to do the side that you cut. That's not it, so that's got to go up here. No, that's not right yet. I'm sorry. I'll get it yet. Bear with me. There we go. So see how that lines up? Now, there's no reason why you can't take that and put it on a different flower. And just, those are your leaves. Instead of the flower. And there's no reason why you can't take all these little itty bitty centers and throw them around as your little dots instead of these little dots. So look at that. Let's move this out of the way. And then you could go back and actually add these in here. So just, just try stuff. Cut out a bunch of stuff if you got a leftover paper pack and see what you come up with. So there, you could do something like that. And maybe I wouldn't want those all right there together. But we could do them like this. Something like that. What do you think? And of course, you know, you got words, you got everything else going on. Um, what else? Where's my half pieces? Here, this will make more sense. So say you needed a little bit of buffer from whatever cardstock you're using. Let's take those away and add some of this. Just to kind of give you, maybe those are your leaves, so we'll cover that up a little bit more. See? There you go. Something different again. <laughs> okay. If you have any questions, put them down below. Um, and like I said, next next week I will take some regular cardstock and I will color it. Even the vellum, you can color from the back side and have a soft side showing through. Or you can um, color it on the front side and have a little darker. You can also take and color in your uh, glitter paper. Maybe you just have white but you wanted gold. Take your gold marker and gently do that or put some ink on it. Um, that'll do that as well. You can... You know, just do the edges of, of it to make some different color with ink. All right, so enough said with that. Let's get all this out of the way. Oh, and did I tell you about this? I think I did. I, I take this one, and I just make my own little dots. And then what I do is I put them into one of our little craft jars, or I have a couple different colors in here, so... I've got them in um, a little baggie, and then I can have several colors, and then they're not all mixed in together, but maybe that'll work for you. So those are really cool, and then the core catalog. So the card I wanted to show you today, and let's say you have a paper pack that's just got a few scraps left. Go ahead and cut the card, the flowers out, or whatever shapes you want, and just stick them in the bag, and then you have them for when you... Uh, are doing something and maybe you need just a little something here or there and you can find something within there so here's the card you can just say I love it I hate it whatever now, actually let's be kind I love it I don't care for it not my style so this one I added some of that B paper I just literally pulled out my packet that I'd already used this was already cut that size so it just worked on there perfectly this was a couple of strips so I just cut those off. This was one banner piece, if you turn it around. I just layered that. This has a little bit of, here, I'll show you a little closer. This has some, um, so I black stamped the words, and the words I got from the current catalog from these little mini um, greetings, and there's several of them. I'll show you them here. And the one I use for happy hello or best wishes is the M1310. And so I've got, hopefully this doesn't shining too badly. I've got the holographic paper. I've got white paper. I've got the zip strip. I've got black cardstock. I've got the two different patterns 
from the paper pack. I've got some vellum here, which is, you know, vellum is see-through, so it's very hard sometimes to glue it down. So I just put these little holographic bits on top. There's also a holographic bit underneath. I also took some of those half middles, cut them, because it just needed a little bit of, of softening here. And I hope that you like it and that you will try it and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely weekend and a wonderful um, next week. And I will see you next week and do some coloring and some different patterning um, on some different stuff. <laughs> see you then and ta-ta!